One of the biggest advantages to taking an in-platform approach to process mining is the speed at which you'll be able to start getting visibility into the reality behind your workflows. In a matter of minutes, you can have insights into your process inefficiencies, non-conforming activities, and improvement opportunities. As an in-platform solution, ServiceNow's process mining helps our customers avoid many of the data access and availability challenges and data manipulation work that is typically part of a process mining project. In some cases, that data preparation work alone can take weeks with an external process mining solution. We're going to use the next couple of minutes to walk through the process of creating our first visualized process map with ServiceNow's process mining solution. Now, the first step in the process is to come to the process mining workspace. You can access it right from this workspaces list up here. And then in the process mining workspace, you'll be presented with all of your process projects that you've created for other use cases. We're simply going to create a new project right from here. Now, creating a process mining project on the ServiceNow platform has always been easier. But in the Washington release, we've made it even easier than it was before by providing a guided setup experience to create your first process mining project. We'll come in here, we'll give our project a name. We'll call it my first process mining project. And then we'll choose a table. In our situation here, we're just gonna choose the incident table and we'll create our project. Once the project is created, there's a couple of extra steps or additional steps we need to take. The first is we need to start to scope the data down for our specific use case. We always want to focus in on work that has completed the process. So we'll just come in here and say active is false. And then maybe we want to add a filter to focus in on work that was not created by an alerting solution or, or monitoring solution. So we'll just say channel is not alert. And that will narrow it down to uh, this set of 25,000 incidents, and we'll hit Save. The next step is to choose our activity. What is the thing that is changing over time on the record, in this case, incident, that we want to start to analyze? Very often, we use the state field and look at how incidents are moving from state to state in the process. But you could also use things like assignment group. Uh, anything that's changing on a record over time is fair game for an activity. So we've configured our activity. And then you're going to want to add some breakdowns to slice and dice uh, your process data. So maybe you want to slice and dice it by category and by priority or by assignment group. I'm just simply going to add category here. You can have up to 10 of these per project, and we'll move to the next step. Now, as part of the solution, we provide both rule-based and automated improvement opportunities to help streamline your analysis. Uh, these opportunities will surface things like rework scenarios or slow transitions. So they're available via, to you via a library that you can choose to add to your projects, but you also have the ability to create your own improvement opportunities based on your hypotheses about where there might be inefficiencies in your processes. Once we've set up our improvement opportunities, we go to the review and mind step in which we're just kind of giving the summary of everything that we've configured for this project. And right from here, we can mine our data. I'll hit the Confirm and Mine button, and away we go. Once the mining is completed, we'll be prevent, presented with some summary information. And then we can click on the View in Workspace button. And that will take us to our workspace, or analyst workbench, for the project that we just created. We'll have our visualized process map with our breakdowns to start slicing and dicing that process data, as well as our summary and insights page. That's going to surface for us not just not only just process metrics that are important to us, but all of those different improvement opportunities, both rule-based and automated, to help us better understand the process data and jumpstart our process analysis. That's it. That's what it takes. You just saw in a matter of minutes how easy it is to create your first project or process mining project and visualize your processes on the ServiceNow platform.